What is up everybody and welcome back to the next episode in the bus build series. Yes, I do look a little bit different right now, but thanks to the miracle of modern movie magic, we're going to take a step back in time to a week ago today where Ruben and I started putting in my ceiling. that the ceiling is in and I think the most exciting part about it is the lights which I haven't talked about on this video or on this channel at all yet but I found an account called No Rush Campers it's a builder out of the Netherlands and they had a camper that they did these super cool strip lights down the middle of their ceiling and I love the idea. So I messaged them, they told me how they did it and I kind of took that as inspiration for my ceiling. And let me show you what those lights look like. Boom. There's two 14 foot strips of LEDs running down the middle of my ceiling and it lights this place up. It's the middle of the daytime right now but it makes a huge difference to have these lights on versus when they're off. Plus, combine that with the wood grain of the ceiling and we're getting somewhere. It's starting to look pretty good. Right now we don't have power here at the house so we're charging our power tools off of the bus and we're still able to cut pieces and that's how we finish the ceiling and we're still able to use the nail guns and that's how we put the ceiling up. Um, so without power there's no internet so we're gonna just keep working because there's nothing else to do here. So Ruben is out here helping me. We're cutting some pieces and we're gonna start in the back and we're gonna start putting up some walls which is very exciting because the more we work the more insulation we're going to cover up and the better it's going to look in here but the ceiling's in it is beautiful and i'm very excited to see what comes next good morning Late last night, Ruben and I got that wall screwed up and we got wood filler in all the screw holes and all the cracks between the boards. And, you know, from that far away, it looks pretty good. The wood filler hasn't been sanded yet, so I'm gonna go do some sanding on that and do a second round of wood filler if it's needed in some spots. But that back wall is in and it's coming together. Um, once that wall has been touched up, then we're going to start working on some side walls. Time to work on the next wall, and I'm going to do this one. Um, and that's because the bottom edge here is going to be hidden the entire way. So as I'm getting better and better at cutting these oddly shaped and strangely angled walls, I hope that I can get my seams to match up better. So that's why I'm starting with this one, where there's one edge that I can hide. On this other side by the windows, both edges are going to be visible, so I got to nail that one. <clears throat> so we'll do this one first and then the kitchen one because both of those have a hidden edge that I can get away with not getting it to line up perfectly. And with that, we got wall. Number two started, we're gonna put one more piece up here between the bathroom and the bed, and that's gonna be the backsplash for the kitchen, which, you know, once that's in, that half of the inside is gonna be looking real swanky. Uh, and then we'll start working over here on this side, but it takes a little while to get these complicated pieces put up and measured and the exact specs, so uh, we'll just keep cruising. So late last night, I came in and I was able to put up the last big piece of wall that goes over here above the dinette windows. So the windows aren't fully trimmed out yet. I need to put one more piece of trim along the bottom edge and then I can use my router and route out the edges and then it'll get all nice and clean and clear cut just like these ones over here. 
foot over there on that side. back and forth, cutting, trimming, trimming, cutting, placing, setting, whatever, putting this thing in, and I've got it pretty close to being ready to be installed. Um, ignore the bottom right now, that extra skirt is there because I want plenty of extra to determine how I'm gonna sculpt the bottom edge of it, but here we have two holes cut for our cubbies. They're rough cut right now. I'm gonna do the same process with the flush trim bit as I did on the windows to get these super cleaned up around the edges but I'll build two boxes. One will slide in here and then get screwed in to the braces around the edge. One will slide in here, get screwed in there. So I'll have two like open shelves here. At some point I'll figure out some sort of like front barrier edge that'll keep stuff from falling out. Um, but I got this piece cut. The curve is pretty tight to the ceiling, which is great. It's getting better every time we have to cut a curve uh, for the ceiling and the edge goes all the way in there, which will give me an attachment point for the face piece that covers here. I'll screw it to this piece and pocket screw it in here um, so that that cabinet can start getting framed out as well. So yesterday was quite a productive day for bits of wood going up here and there. Uh, I didn't film a lot of it because again, it's in tricky spots and it's on and off here and there. Uh, but I'll show you where we got to after those hours of work yesterday. So here's the front end. I was able to, oh come on, we got the top of the door boarded off trimmed out. We got the whole front end. There's a piece of wood here on the end sealing that up. We got this whole piece in and the box is cut and trimmed out. And then we got this closet built out. Still need to put a face piece which will receive a door over here as well as bring this front down here to cover up this area. And the most technical part from yesterday was the bottom of this bulkhead which I now have my dome light, which is wired to the dash right here. But that extends that whole assembly all the way up to the windshield and covers up a whole big chunk of yucky bus edge that I have been staring at for months now. So that is really great. These cords are gonna be for the fan, which I'm gonna reattach there upside down aim it at the driver and that'll be controlled by this switch with the high and the low function. So that just needs to be wired up. Um, but what I'm working on right now today is putting wood filler in all these screw holes and these blowout spots so that we can start getting this as clean as the rest of the bus. Once I fill all these holes I'm going to go do round two on the rest of all these walls because you know even though this may look smooth once you paint it, all these little like textural blips here and there and little remnants of screw heads, that comes through. So I want to do the best job I can at filling all that texture right now so that when I paint, it's going to look way cleaner uh, in the end. And at the end of the day, we were able to do round one of sanding on all of the front walls and trim up here. And then I put a second round of schmear in the little little tiny air bubble pocket holes so that we can get it as smooth as possible. In the meantime, we finished round two of sanding on all of these walls and they're looking real sharp. Like, like it's smooth as can be. When it's all painted and not like wood and filler color, it's gonna look super tight. Let's take a look back. 
One week ago, today, the bus looked like this. And now, it looks like this. say that is an exceptional week of progress and achievements here in the bus. These lights are so cool. I'm so excited with how they turned out. It was a super easy install. The wiring of it was way easier than putting in, you know, six little pocket lights here and there. I'd have to run positive negatives to each of those. This is just one run, positive negative to the back, and 14 feet twice of LED strip lights that go all the way down the middle. The entire setup takes four amps of power to run at full power, but I do have them on a dimmer so I can drop them out, set the mood, dim it down a little bit. I, oh, oof. And it looks so good, like look at that. How cool. And that is it for this video. Seven days of insane progress and insane achievements here in the bus. This weekend, I hope to paint these walls once they're finally prepped and done one more round of sanding. And then this place is gonna look so clean and be ready to put in my sleeping quarters. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for tuning in and following along with the next step in the bus build. I appreciate the support and I appreciate you guys following along. And with that, we will see you in the next one. Bye.